Hi everyone, it's Marie again. Um, I just uh, wanted to post another video um, on the Mental Illness Awareness Week channel. Mental Illness Awareness Week is quickly approaching. It's about um, two months from now, two and a half months. Um, there's just a quick topic that I wanted to share with you all that I had uh, spent some time thinking about what I should post the next video about. Um, and it has to do with workmen's, the workmen's rights that I wanted to share that I had received from my workplace together with what had happened to my mental health recently. Um, basically, uh, I've, I worked part-time as, as an ESL teacher for two and a half years because I didn't want to um, bombard myself with full-time work knowing that I had schizophrenia. Um, and I had waited two and a half years before um, accepting a full-time position. And so recently, about four months ago, I've been working full-time. Full-time for me is, I'm quite fortunate because full-time for me is from 9 o'clock to 3 o'clock p.m. It's not a nine-hour shift. It's a five-hour teaching job. I teach English to newcomers. Um, and recently, actually not recently, it's been about a month and a half that I was pushing myself pushing myself a lot to uh, be able to get through the day. And it was always a challenge because, you know, I'm used to napping at 1.30. Um, I'm used to giving myself some mental space from work and from the job. And unfortunately, I couldn't do that. I had to push myself and force myself to get through the day. And at times, it was very, very difficult. I substituted um, getting tired by drinking two cups of coffee a day, which in the end didn't do very much, um, you know, mentally to me. And so I ended up having a relapse um, just this past week in on the job, on the spot. And I didn't know what to do because, you know, we all need to make money. And it's, it's a little bit of um, a battle that we have to endure to be able to make money the way everyone else does while also having mental illness. Um, and so it hit me quite hard and I experienced a full-blown relapse on my workplace, I had to excuse myself from the class. I was in tears and I had to go talk to my manager. Now, you all have to be cautious of, um, you know, where you choose to work, especially if it's a full-time position. I think that it's completely, met, like, I think it's necessary and really good to disclose to your boss, regardless of what mental health issues you have, that you have a disability. You don't necessarily have to specify what disability. However, it does make it a lot easier when you specify that you have a mental illness because then you know how they'll react, what kind of trust factor you have between you and your employer, and whether or not they'll be able to accommodate you um, just in case something happens in the future. Luckily, I'm not going to disclose who I work for, but luckily I have been with such a compassionate team that they are willing to accommodate me with work hours that I'm able to handle. My doctor mentioned that I basically should stick to part-time, which would be three hours a day, until I'm ready to go back full-time. I'm confident that I can go back full-time, but it's always important to know that the information you disclose, you know, I know that some people are ashamed and some people are worried about stigma in regards to how their workplace will react. Everybody has rights. All workplaces are not supposed to lay you off because you have a disability, nor are they not supposed to accommodate you in whatever way that you need to help you with your mental health, uh, physical health, mental health, regardless. Um, and so luckily, I was given the opportunity recently to go back to part-time hours until I'm ready to go back full-time. And I think that sometimes the circumstances so that Nothing in your in your in your life can predict how you're going to be a week from now, a day from now, and when mental health strikes and you're you're relapsing or you have an episode or you have a really bad day, you really have to take into consideration your health before your job, and that's something that it took a long time for me to understand because I was always the money maker. I wanted to be normal, but unfortunately, the burden that I had to bear in this life was mental health, mental illness. And, you know, I just wanted to give um, a quick review, or not review, but a quick understanding of what my experience has been with my workplace and so that all of you are encouraged to just, you know, be comfortable to disclose your information to your, to your employer so that you are, um, you are protected. And uh, that's basically it. I'm going to wrap this up and I'll basically see you guys next time. I hope this was helpful. And if you have any comments, feel free to uh, post them on the bottom and I'll check it up every now and then. But thanks so much for listening and I hope this was helpful. Take care. Bye.